Hey everybody, Nick Arnett, another episode of Cool People. <laughs> I know her meet and I met somebody really, really cool and I want you to meet her, Monique Johnson. Hello. Yay. <laughs> hey, guess what friends, my mom is here and in the hospital, so that is a total bummer. But of all things, a couple months ago, my dad was here and he was in the hospital and of all things, they told me about Monique. They said, hey, Monique was so cool. She kept our spirits up. She was always fun and upbeat. And I just happened to be in town. My mom was sick. And I got here and met Monique. And she is awesome, friends. So I'm really glad you get to meet Monique. And very interesting. So here, here we go. Say hello, Monique. Hello. Yay. Monique, we had so much fun talking this morning. So uh, let's talk about you grew up in the Chicago area. Yes. Awesome. How long did you live there? Until I was 19 years old. And then you headed to, of all places, Casper, Casper Wyoming. Casper. So anyway, you were at Casper, Wyoming, and you stayed there for a while. Mm -hmm. Of all, did you like Casper? I did. I've been there. Actually, it is a pretty cool place, friends. I went there when I was doing comedy. Loved it. Really fun. Michael Jackson did a gig there. Yes. I mean, you're too, too young to know that, but that's a big deal. And now... I'm in Aurora, Colorado. Where are we? Aurora Medical Center? Medical Center of Aurora. Of Aurora. Uh -huh. they're, they're high rated. They're really good. They're Very so good. Very good hospital. Really, yes, every, everybody's yes, awesome, yes. but Monique stands out. Thank you. Yeah. So a lot of things. You, you, you do, you're you here, and you're working, and you really have a, an attitude of, of serving and helping, and you, you just never seem to be down at all, ever. No. So, so what keeps you so positive about everything? Just a different outlook on life. I'm here taking care of a lot of people that needs my help, and I love taking care of folks. But what keeps me going every day is I get up, I get motivated, and I do yeah. my workouts, and I eat good, and just keep it pushing. I always think positive. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. She does her workouts. So listen to this. Not only is Monique awesome here at the hospital helping people out, helping them get better, keeping them encouraged, what else do you do, Monique? I am currently on prep for a bikini figure bodybuilding show. What? <laughs> so what's the difference of what is the bikini contest? What is that what does that mean? Like it's it's a legit like bodybuilding kind of thing, right? It is. It yeah. is. It's a mild form of bodybuilding for women and you can do a prep from anywhere from 16 weeks up to you know, a lot of couple people do a 6-7 months on prep before they do a show. You just get your body real lean to define your muscles and you showcase what you worked so hard for the over the months up until showtime. Wow. Yeah. And, and, but it is extreme. Friends, it's, it's just not a simple thing where you put on a bikini and you go in some contest. This is like a real serious. T talk about your the diet, the special diet that you're on. So I eat seven meals a day and they're spaced out from two hours apart. Um, lots of protein, very low carbs, and lots of training. I'm in the gym at 4 a.m. before I come to work, and I end my day in the gym. So about two to three hours of training a day on top of 12-hour work days. Did you hear that, friends? That That is her day. And you also said something else interesting about that. You treat your training as a job. I do. I treat it as a job. I never think of it just as a hobby because it's something that you invest time in. So you just... Treat it like it's a job. And, and you, you, you sometimes you don't feel like getting up. So what, what gets you out of bed and into the gym at, at, at that early hour when you you work so hard during the day, lifting people, helping them with all these things? How, how do you do it? How do you find the motivation? Because I'm driven to do the goal. I set my mind to something that I love to do and enjoy doing. So it motivates me to get up and invest the time into doing what I love. Awesome. Yeah. And, and before you were doing this, you, you were a, a makeup artist, yes? Yes, I did hair and makeup for years. For years? What, doing what? The, like what? For movies, commercials, what? Uh, uh, just like uh, kids going to prom or regular people who wanted their hair done. I just did something completely different before I went into healthcare and getting into a passion for bodybuilding or fitness, health, that kind of stuff. Yeah, now this, and then what? This is awesome. Like you could do the, this the rest of your life and live a very satisfying life because you're contributing to, to the betterment of, of people, especially my folks, the people like my folks, yes, elderly, yes, and yes. giving them hope. 
it really means a lot to our, to our family that you're taking care of our folks. Well, and you got good, so good folks. They I are, love them. I they like are pretty them both. awesome. Yes, well, yes. They, they love you, and we we love you. So what what next? You're you're still young. You got the best of your life ahead of you. What 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 else do you have in mind? My future goals here that's coming up for me. Just recently, I've had a change in mind of going into personal training, but also getting a degree in health and dietics. Health and dietics. Yes. So dietics is like health and then eating properly. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you do eat properly. I mean, I you're do. so picky I about do. your food. So disciplined. I measure yeah. everything. I make sure I get every little bit of carbs and proteins and good fats that I need. And, and you like that? I do. You're satisfied I do. with that? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have any guilty pleasure meals? No, none. Recently, just steak. If I if okay. my coach says I can have a refeed, it's usually just steak and potatoes. With not much on them, no, right? No, just plain. Man, I, I, I couldn't do it, friends. Well, fortunately, I don't have to do a bikini contest, though, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then... But you do chew a lot of gum, right? That kind of gets you through. I do. What's, what's your brand of choice? I love Orbit, the Orbit peppermint, gum. sugar free. <laughs> buys it by the case, one, a case a month. From every, Costco. At Costco, mm -hmm. a month's fly at a time. <laughs> okay, well, how can people be in touch with you? Because you're you're awesome. We we can cheer for you in your competitions. How do they get in touch with you? You can follow me on Facebook, um, Jess Moni J. You can type in. I'll pop right up. Or Moni J. In. I'll put that right down there for you. Okay. Moni J. And then I have an Instagram. It's Mojo215. Mojo215. Yeah. All right. Friends, didn't you enjoy meeting Monique J or Monique Johnson, if you so dare? She's awesome. Seriously, I hope, I hope that you all know people in your life like that, especially when your parents get sick. It is really tough. This is the first time we've really gone through it in my family, and it's not an easy time for us, but... Having you around sure sure makes it a lot easier. I enjoyed so it. You. With his kind of folks, good people like him, it makes my job much they, better. They are good people. It really does. And so are you. So yeah. it's a blessing to know you, Monique J. Anyway, until next time, everybody, be cool. Be cool. <laughs>